Hey guys, this is Tamala, and I want to welcome you back again to another exciting episode of Designing with Hold on Design. Now, this is part two to my Help Me Redesign My Family Room Space series. And if you remember my video last week, I took you on tour of my family room space, and I talked about some of the new things that I plan on changing in this space. Well, in this video today, I'm going to share with you the items that I've already purchased. Not everything is in, but I didn't want you guys to have to wait two weeks to see the continuation of this series. Now, next week, hopefully, all the other products will be in, and also, I will be introducing you to my new design assistant, Vanessa, because she's actually going to help me to install this space. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, guys, now, this is the art that I chose for my family room space, and I knew I wanted something colorful, and so this art has all the colors that I'm working with throughout my home, especially in my family room area. And it has the, um, these, this teal color, it has the, the navy blue, it has different shades of blue, it has white, it even has some black to ground the art. And then also we have this green color and I wanted to bring some green in because I love that new greenery color which is Pantone's 2017 color. So I was excited when I saw the green that's mixed in with the art. I love the fact that it is on a canvas. I love the textural feel and look of the canvas and the size is perfect for the wall that I'm getting ready to hang this art on. Now the next piece I'm gonna show you, I'm going to incorporate it and using it to um, do a unique wall arrangement on the wall in the family room space. So let me share that piece with you. Okay guys, now you always hear me say that it's so important to have a mirror or some sort of mirrored surface in a space. And this uh, mirror is actually gonna serve as my mirrored surface in my family room space. This was a gift from one of my clients. Thank you, Christine. And I absolutely love it. She knows I love the Greek key pattern. So this is going to be the one piece that I'm wanting to incorporate into a wall arrangement with the previous art that I just showed you. Now, I already have a general idea on how I'm going to incorporate that into the wall arrangement with the art, but I would still love to hear your comments and suggestions on different ways to incorporate this mirror into the wall arrangement with the previous art. So don't forget to comment below. I love to hear your feedback. Okay, so by now, guys, you can see that I'm using an explosion of color, and I'm excited about this new color scheme because it's going to be great for the spring and summer season. Now, I purchased these green jars to pick up on the green color that's in the art, as well as this turquoise ginger glass jar to pick up on the turquoise that's in the art as well. So let me go ahead and share with you the other items that I've purchased. Okay guys, so now whenever I'm designing or decorating a space, I always try to keep the pattern consistent and I have a circular pattern going on in the space already. So when I found this candelabra in the circle shape, I fell in love with it. Now it's meant to be hung on the wall, but I'm not gonna hang it on the wall. I'm going to repurpose it and use it in another way, as well as this candelabra. I'm gonna use it as a candelabra, but I'm, I'm going to style it differently or rather use it in a different way in a vignette. Now, I'm thinking about leaving this, um, both these pieces in their natural burnt umber um, color because I have a lot of silver, the, 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 the metallic silver going on in the space and you always want to at least have something of a darker color to ground the space so it won't feel as though it's just floating out there. So. I may just leave these in this natural color or I may spray paint them silver, I'm not sure. Um, I will know once I get to start styling the space. So let's go ahead and let me show you the rug. Okay guys, here is my brand new rug for my family room space and I am in love with this rug. It has all the colors that I'm working with and the design style is transitional and I love this scattered pattern. This scattered pattern is really trending right now and it's a size 8 by 10. I had to purchase the appropriate size rug for this space and if you notice I'm able to set my sofa on top of the rug as well as the two chairs that's over here. So. If you want to know proper rug placement and proper rug size, I'm going to link the video to my video that I did on how to choose the right rug in the description box below. So I'm excited about this space coming along. 
Okay guys, so now hopefully you like those items I just purchased and I have the sideboard, I have the coffee table, I have the ceiling fan, I have the lamps and I have pillows coming next week. So don't forget to tune back in next week. And also you'll be able to meet my interior design assistant Vanessa because Vanessa and I are going to be installing my family room space. So don't forget to thumbs up this video and leave me some ideas, suggestions and comments as well. And if you're new to my channel and you want to see the continuation of me redesigning my family room space, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And once again, thanks for watching Designing with Hope Undesigned. Designing for the home, body, and soul. Bye for now.